Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a jump scale in Roblox Studio. So first I'm gonna show you what you're gonna learn today. Um, I don't know why I don't have pants, but that's besides um, the point. Anyways, this is what you're gonna learn today. You're gonna learn how to make a block. You're gonna make it invisible later in the tutorial. And once you hit the block, there's a jump scare. Then the block goes away. And that is what you're gonna learn today. So let's get started, shall we? So first, you're gonna actually want to import a part. So right click, insert a part. Then you can rescale it to whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna make it a wall. So once you've gotten your part, you're gonna go to material and change it to smooth plastic. Change the color to white. Change the transparency to one. So now it is invisible. Then scroll down and check anchored. And then check off can collide. Once you've done that, you're gonna rename your pulp to jump scale block or jump scale pulp. Then you're gonna insert a script and you're gonna call this script jump scale script. Then once you've created the script, you're gonna go to replicated storage and add a folder. Then you're gonna name that folder remote events. Inside of that folder, you're gonna add a remote event and you're gonna call that jump scale event. Once you've done that, inside of the script, you're gonna write local jump scale event equals game dot replicated storage dot remote events dot jump scale event. Then under that you're gonna write script dot parent dot touched colon connect function hit. Go down and you're gonna type if hit parent find first child humanoid then enter local player game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent go down and you're gonna type jump scale event fire client player and then under that you're gonna type script dot parent colon destroy so that the block destroys after you've hit it. Then once we've done that, we're gonna go to starter GUI and add a screen GUI. And we're gonna call this screen GUI jump scale UI. Inside of that, we're gonna add an image label and call the image label jump scale. Then under the image label, go to anchor point and change it to 0.5 comma 0.5. Change the background transparency to one. Change the border size pixel to zero scroll down and change the position to 0.5 comma 0 comma 0.5 comma 0 and change the size to 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 so now it should cover the whole screen then you're going to scroll down and now you have the image id you're going to go to roblox the creator tab and to marketplace and find an image that you can use as your jump scale you are going to go to the url and copy this string of numbers right here that is the asset id so i'm going to copy that i'm going to go to studio and paste it into the image id right here and now i have my image so now what we're going to do is go to jump scare ui and check ignore gui inset this makes it so that the jump scare is full screen once we've done that go back to the jump scare and add a local script call this local script jump scare script Inside of the local script, you're gonna write local jump scale event equals game dot replicated storage dot remote events dot jump scale event. Then under that, you're gonna write jump scale event dot on client event connect function player. Then under jump scale event, you're actually gonna write uh, local player equals game dot players dot local player. Then enter. And then you're gonna write script dot parent dot parent dot enabled equals true wait one and script dot parent dot parent dot enabled equals false. So this is the wait time in between when the jump scale appears and when it disappears. So if you want the jump scale to be faster, you can change it to 0.5 seconds. It really just comes out to your preference, so you can change it to whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna make it one second. And that is the script done, so you can close out of that. And then go to jumpscare UI and check off enable. So now it is invisible. And now let's go test it out. As you can see, I'm in the game here. And if I walk along the wall, there's a jump scare for a second and then it goes away. 
and the plot has deleted itself, so now the jump scare cannot happen again. If you do want the jump scare to repeat after you hit the block multiple times and you don't want it to delete itself, you can go back to the jump scare script and delete this line. Other than that, that is how to make a jump scare in Roblox Studio. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe, it really does help me out a lot. I'll see you in the next video, peace out.